Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm a Boeing 737 pilot and a member of PMDG's tech team. I'm sure many of you know this picture of the Boeing 707 doing a barrel roll over the uh, USA. Now, that's been quite a while ago and I'm sure that some of you are asking yourself, okay, so we could do this in a 707, but can we do it in a modern airliner as well? In a 737 or an A320? Now, the simple answer to that is, let's have a look at the physics that are actually behind the barrel roll. Now, a barrel roll is a maneuver that is exclusively flown with the aileron. You are not applying any elevator in it. And since only the aileron is used, it means that the barrel roll is a 1G maneuver. So, if executed correctly and only using the ailerons, then a barrel roll for the aircraft basically is not noticeable. So, let's say the barrel roll was initiated slowly and let's assume an aircraft that has no windows. The occupants of the aircraft would probably not even notice that the aircraft is actually doing a barrel roll. And exactly because of this, because it is a 1G maneuver, any aircraft can do a barrel roll. Now, that counts for the 737, as well as for the A320 and any other aircraft type. Now, if we're talking about the A320, then, of course, we have to take into account that the A320 does have some flight control protections, so you would have to turn those off in order to be able to do it in the A320. In the 737, there are no such protections, so there is nothing that would actually prevent the pilot from doing so. And I'm actually going to show you right here. Note, don't do this at home, at least not if you're flying a real aircraft. Chances are you will end up in media, and chances are you will end up losing your job. But that's for a different reason. So, autopilot off, and let's go. As you can see, no problem whatsoever. Except for the tiny fact that we might have to do an overspeed inspection, but that is the point overall. If you had a look at the angle of attack indicator on the top right of the heads-up display, the one that's showing 2.0 at the moment, you will have seen that there was actually no actual increase in the angle of attack. We did however lose some altitude, and that's of course because all of a sudden our lift vector has been pointing downwards and no longer upwards. But, as you can see, it can do the barrel roll without any problems, and that's not even due to a simulator limitation, but simply due to the fact that there is no vertical acceleration within the maneuver, as long as the elevator is not used. And that is the important key point, by the way. Do not use your elevator during a barrel roll. Otherwise, you are going to cause g-forces, and those might overload the aircraft. But as long as the elevator is not used, let's do it again. You can see as long as the elevator is not used, there is basically no additional uh, loading cost on the aircraft and therefore doing a barrel roll with the 737 is no problem aerodynamically or structurally whatsoever. Now if you're doing it with passengers on board you've heard him scream and believe me your boss is gonna scream at you just as well. But to end this with a quote of the test pilots who did the actual maneuver when his boss started screaming at him, what the hell are you doing here? He just answered, I'm selling airplanes. <laughs> 